Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm so excited about today's video because I went and did something I swore I was never gonna do and that was buy a Dyson. <laughs> okay, well let me just say I swore that I would never buy a Dyson because they are stupid expensive. They range about 550 to 579 euros. So we collectively agreed, and by that I mean Gary, said it would be stupid to spend that kind of money on a hairdryer and he wouldn't be wrong. But the Christmas gods were smiling down on me this year and I got a number of gift certificates from family members and from work and I pulled all that money together and still didn't have enough for the Dyson. <laughs> but I had enough for most of it. So yesterday in the sales, ran out and bought myself the Dyson Airwrap complete. Now, this did cost more than I even wanted to spend because apparently this is some fancy limited edition blue situation that I didn't even want, but I had to pay extra for because that's all they had in stock. Plus, it only comes in the short version when I wanted the long version, but again, they didn't have that in stock. So, Impatient Mary couldn't wait for restocking levels, and I wanted to take advantage of a particular sale that they had only for one day, so I bought this guy with all of the trimmings. So, the question is, how's it going to work? So today we're going to do a first impressions using the Airwrap. Now, I don't generally like to do first impressions when it comes to devices of any kind, because usually it takes a little time to kind of get familiar with it and to tinker around and to try to find the way that works the best, but I'm just so damn excited. <laughs> I couldn't wait. So why do I even care? And why has this item been on my lust after list for years. Well, for me, it's all about protecting the hair and doing things that I want to do to my hair with the least amount of damage. I ran into massive trouble last year, which I thought was from all the hot tools. Turns out it's probably a combination, but even more leaning towards menopause. And my hair got straw-like and brittle and breaking all the time. And yeah, you know, I leached my hair. And yes, I like to use hot tools. So I just wanted to try to find the products that were going to help me the most to protect my hair while still delivering the results that I want. Enter the Airwrap, which has its Coanda technology, which is just airflow that enables the devices to attract the hair, hold on to the hair, and to dry the hair, and to do it with the least amount of damage. So this allows you to do a number of different things, because as you probably know, it has a number of different attachments. Now, I'm not going to go into all that stuff today, because it has been done to death, and I'm not even going to use all of them today. So what this thing allows you is the least amount of damage using some tools that you probably already have at home, or you may use yourself. And I do. I have a tool that helps me to dry and curl my hair at the same time, which is what this attachment's going to do. And I have a device that also uses a head like this to make my hair nice and sleek. But what both of these rely on is tension, like you're pulling on your hair. And that's why, while I'm sure at some stage I'm going to use them and try them, it's not why I wanted the machine. I wanted this for the barrels, and that's the wrapping, because there's no tension, there's no pulling on your hair, which leads to breakage and your hair falling out, because I've seen it. I've been there. Okay, so I probably watched more Dyson Airwrap videos than anybody on the planet. I mean, it might not be true, but it feels like it is. So I've seen videos that say you definitely need to do this, and I've seen videos that say you definitely don't want to do that in order to make those curls last longer. I'm kind of not doing any of those things, but instead I'm going to use products that I already use. I want to see what the impact is using this new device on the stuff that I use every day. It might turn out, it might not. Let's find out. So every single day, whether it's a work day or not, I take a shower, I get out, I put my hair up, and I potter around. Gary knows I'm queen potterer. Every morning I'm up two hours before we leave the house because I like to potter. So I go downstairs, let the dog out, empty the dishwasher, make a cup of coffee. I come up, do skincare, makeup, whatever. By the time I go to do my hair, my hair looks pretty much like this, which is sort of what I've done today. It's probably a little bit on the drier side. It's usually about 70% dry just because my hair dries quite quickly. So then I start with two products. They are both by Olaplex. I always do a combination of about a pea size amount of the number six, which is the Bond Smoothing Cream, and I combine that with about four or five drops of the Bond Oil. Because my hair was so damaged last year, I just found this combination set me up for anything else I was going to do. It made my hair super soft without weighing it down, particularly the Bond Oil. I use this before I do any styling, and I also use it after if I have a little bit of flyaways because it's so light and it doesn't weigh down your hair and it's just a bit of magic. So I've already put those in my hair and I've also used a separate heat protector by Hair Story and this one is called Dressed Up and it's a little bit thicker, it's kind of a heavier cream so I'm hoping that might help me retain some of that curl and hopefully make the style that we end up with here last a little bit longer. And the last product I'm going to use today is by Aura Bay and this is the Dry Texturizing Spray. As you guys know I love my Lange Le Duo curling situation and I found that once I use this and I have those nice little curls that I like, if I use the texturing spray on top of it it makes it last all day long. So I'm going to use that too, hoping this works out. So what I'm hoping this guy is going to 
gonna do is help replace this, which is what I use to blow dry my hair and give it a bit of style, and this guy, which gives me the curl. So let's see if it works. So as Dyson recommends is that not only do you have your hair about 70 to 80% dry, that your roots are also dry because a lot of the air wrap isn't going to really make it up there and dry it too well. Because I've been pottering so much, mine is actually, I'm going to say it's 80 to 90% dry anyway. So we're just going to plow on. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is section off my hair. I just tend to do them in small bits just so that I can get to them a little bit easier. I would do this whether I was blow drying or whether I was curling it so that I can access the same bits of hair in the same way. Okay. And by the way, if my roots weren't dry, I was gonna go in with this little contraption, which is the smoothing. I think one side of this, if you twist it, is for smoothing out the flyaways and the other side is actually for drying the hair. Haven't used that yet. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. So many of you might even know how this thing works. So <laughs> this is just me and I could be a moron, but we're gonna give this a try. I do know that this little device up here, it twists in between the barrels going one way and the barrels going another. Now, most people tend to do it all in one direction. I like to alternate it. So there may be some trial and error figuring out which way is which, and I might do this on one side and I might not do it on the other. We're just gonna give it a go. I'm gonna start in the back and we're gonna give it a try. So my hair, it may actually be a little too dry, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a squirt. I've been rather busy. Okay. And let's see, we're just gonna take small little sections. We're gonna see how this goes. So, this is how you turn it on. It is quite loud. If you hold it up like that, get to do the cold shot. Can you see that, Gary? Okay. And it has two, two control buttons here. This is the heat that has a low and it has a medium and it has a high. And then here we have an airflow, which is the same, low, medium, high. Now, I never want to use my hair on a super high heat. That's sort of why I use these tools. It may mean that my curls don't go as tight and they may not last as long, but for me, it's about protecting the hair. So I'm going to keep that on a medium, but I don't mind giving quite a bit of airflow. So I'm going to put the airflow on a high and I'm going to put the heat on a medium. Okay, I'm gonna to try to go backwards with this. Let's see if it grabs it, and it does. Whoop, grabbing quite a bit. So I'm gonna kind of bring it in and out so that it's heating and kind of cooling. It's fascinating how it wraps around like a curling iron. And now I'm gonna do a cold shot. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, that's a pretty damn fine curl. For hair dryer, Gary, are you seeing this? <laughs> Gary doesn't look nearly as enthusiastic at I, as I am right now. <laughs> I'm very enthusiastic. Are you very enthusiastic, are you? I can just see that. Now, if I hold it this way, I'm hoping it's gonna go forward without having to change the direction of the barrel. Yep, oh my gosh, look at that. Like, isn't that fascinating? Come on, Gary. You've got a bit of engineering. you got to be going, what the fuck is going on? And I'll do a boost with a cold shot. And turn it off. I mean, come on. Is that not worth 550 quid? <laughs> 100. That's all I paid was 100. you got to tell me it's worth 100. Okay. Brush it out. Now that could probably be two pieces. Medium heat, gosh, that lets off quite a punch for a medium heat. So now we are going to actually continue it forward because I like to put the ones closest to my face backwards. I'm sorry, guys, that's fascinating. I'm going to stop looking at you every time I do that. I can't, I can't. I have this little happy face. Okay, now we're going to go back. Are you doing a little dance back there too? Oh yeah. Are you doing the Are you doing the the, Mar the Happy Mary dance? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we're going to tackle the very top and including the fringe. Some of these curls are just from me having it stick up. So it's only the very top layer here. Okay. 
wow. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. It's definitely bouncy. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of that dry texture spray just to kind of put it all inside. It's giving me some pretty big hair, isn't it? <laughs> Gary's laughing, Gary's laughing. Okay, this is not at all what I was expecting. Now, I can say there are lots of flyaways because of that sort of turbocharged airflow. There's lots of hair that are kind of getting stuck in it, whether they're supposed to be in it or not. But geez, look at this body. Look at the volume. Are you kidding me? Uh, my hair doesn't do this ever, by the way. It's definitely more Farrah <laughs> Fawcett kind of big ass hair. But for somebody with super straight, super flat hair, gosh, this is an absolute delight. Now, what I wanted were those little boho beachy waves. That is not this but this is giving me body on a whole different level. Now, I suspect that I was using sections that were too big. So if I chose to use much smaller sections, then I suspect we would have a lot smaller curls. But wow, guys, like this, I did not expect this from the Airwrap. No idea what the back looks like. Could be a big old hot mess. Is it a big old hot mess? Gary's like, give me a frame of reference. <laughs> is it like the front? <laughs> But look at the body on this. Holy Toledo Batman. Okay. First impressions, not at all what I was looking for <laughs> or what I expected. But gosh, I like it. So if I could do this every day, not every day, that took a little longer than I wanted, but I suspect that over time, like anything else, I'll get faster and faster. But gosh, this is so much better than my regular hair day. <laughs> not as good as my curly hair day, but I suspect I can get there. Now, those of you watching, many of whom I'm sure are Airwrap aficionados, give me some pointers. Give me some stuff that works for you. What product should I be using beforehand? If there's any techniques to using the, the barrel itself. I like my curls to go back and forward, back and forward. So they're sort of varied. So sometimes if I just change the direction, it can stay on the same settings. But gosh, this thing was easy. I started flipping back and forth very quickly and very easily between, between curls. And gosh, guys, look. <laughs> Gary, are you back there going, wrap it up, wrap it up? <laughs> He's like, okay, stop staring at yourself in the mirror. Okay, I'm going to stop staring at myself in the mirror. So this is not at all what I wanted out of this. Um, but it turns out that I didn't know I wanted this. So, so far, I'm absolutely loving it. And I would be very happy with this, you know, a few times a week. I now need to master the smaller curl. This is the smaller barrel. So if anybody has any hints for super fine, super straight hair, it'll be interesting to see how long this lasts knowing my hair not long. Um, and again, I'm sure there are lots of products that I should be trying. So please tell me, list them down below. And if you have made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with me today. Um, I love this thing. I love that it can make my limp hair look like this and it's smashing. So thank you for coming with me on my little journey. I've had fun. I'm going to come back to her tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. I've started to use this when I use my Leduo curling fucking thingy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs>